Hello everyone and welcome back to my little corner of YouTube. I'm Toll and I make silly YouTube videos. This is my second time trying to record this and normally I would be so frustrated at this point that I might just move on to something else, but this is too important to just let it go away. I consider myself an internet entertainer. I make silly videos to try and make people laugh on my channel and on a group channel, Geeks Actively Making Entertainment. I've talked about them a few times. I want to make it clear that I'm speaking for myself here, not for that group. This is just me talking. I've been away from my channel for several months now, and I was wanting to get back to it for quite a while. I want to make things to help make people smile in spite of the way the world is today. Because the world is a scary place, with viruses raging across the globe. Well, one particular virus raging across the globe. Okay, maybe more than one. It's got multiple strains everywhere. If you keep up with the research, it's kind of scary. But that's not the point. That's not what I'm here to talk about. People have actually stopped paying attention to the global pandemic that's going on because of a man who was murdered. A man who died at the hands of police officers who were supposed to have been sworn to protect and serve the general public sat on his neck for 10 minutes while he cried out for his mother and begged for his life. Now, I don't know anything about George Floyd's history, and I don't need to know anything about George Floyd's history, because his history isn't the problem. His history isn't what the question is. The question is, why in God's name did an officer of the law who is sworn to serve and protect the people sit on his neck for 10 minutes while he begged for his life? That's not something that should happen. There is no circumstance where that is acceptable. I don't care what someone did before this encounter. That was a human being whose life was snuffed out at the hands of someone who was supposed to protect him. And that made me realize that I've been living under a rock my entire life. Racial inequality isn't any better now than it used to be. Sure, on the surface, it looks nicer here in America. It looks all pretty and incorporated, but there are people living in fear every time they leave their homes, oftentimes in their homes, that they're not going to survive the day. There are kids who go to school and don't come home because a cop... There are kids who go to the playground and don't come home. There are fathers who go to the store to get a gallon of milk and don't come home because of the color of their skin. Because someone thought, hey, look, that guy looks dangerous. That guy looks like he's about to cause trouble. That guy looks like he's guilty of something. So let's cause trouble for him because he's black or Asian or Hispanic. Anything other than white really gets judged. And you're seeing it more and more these days in the videos that are popping up in the wake of this protest, this revelation, this, 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 this gasp heard around the world. George Floyd's death has brought so many other cases of police brutality to light. Cops kneeling on their victims' necks. No, not, not their detainees, not their prisoners, their victims, because these cops are murderers as bad as anybody. And they're using their badge to protect themselves. But that's not what I'm here to talk about. Lives matter, people. All lives do matter. And yes, I know that's a statement used by the opposition of the Black Lives Matter movement. Don't lump me in with them. I am saying that this is a truth that should be obvious. All lives do matter. All human life matters. Whether you're religious or not, a human being's life is important. George Floyd had a family. He had a mother. He had a father. Breonna Taylor had a family. She had friends. She had people relying on her. People who have memories of them and make them laugh and make them cry. And now they're doing nothing but cry and scream in outrage and fear because the people who are supposed to be protecting them are killing them. And that's... It's not okay. It's just not okay. And it needs to change. I don't have a big following. I've got maybe 86 subscribers, and that number's, I know it's going to go down 
probably when I put this video out, but I don't care because because this isn't about a popularity contest on the internet. This is about saying what's right and standing up for people who deserve it. And everyone deserves someone speaking for them, no matter how small the voice. There are people protesting by themselves in cities all across the United States, possibly the entire world. One man protest group standing in union against the forces of corruption, against the forces of racial injustice. Because people matter. Black lives matter. All lives should be treated like they matter. So start it. It starts with you. It starts with you watching right now. You think, what can I do? I'm such a small person. I had no influence. One person in the street becomes two. Two become four. Four become eight. And it grows and it grows. And soon you have thousands upon thousands of people standing in front of the White House in Washington. Thousands upon thousands of people reaching around the world with their voice, with their actions, showing we matter. People matter. Black lives matter. And it's time to speak up for them. No matter who you are, no matter where you are, no matter what you're doing. Get up and say something. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.